Photopia tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Photopia, which is a free online software to design your t-shirts, your merchandise to sell on Redbubble or Amazon. So let's get into it. First off, you're going to go to photopia.com. And if you just go to photopia.com, the editor will open, but this is your introductory page. And you're just going to hop on to photopia.com and you're going to click on new project. Now, once you click on that, on the left, you can see that you can name your project and then you're going to select your project size. So if you're working in pixels, if you're working in inches, mostly if you're creating merchandise, you're probably going to be working in inches. So however large you want your design to be, you're going to select that. So let's just say our design is around 15 and 15 inches. And then below that, you have your DPI. So what DPI basically means is the quality of your print or the quality of your design. And now you're going to select your background if you want black, white, transparent or custom. So this is a very good option, especially if you're working with t-shirts and mugs and sometimes having like a black or white background behind like your vector image or your graphic design looks very odd. That's why they also offer a transparent background. Now we're just going to go with white because we're designing a t-shirt. Now you're just going to do that. And you can see there are a couple of uh, preset designs you can choose from, but we're not going to do that. And now below that, you can see they also have their uh, print sizes. So if you want it to be like a social media Facebook cover, they have their pixel size for that. So there are a lot of uh, sizes that you can actually pick from as well. For example, if you want a wallet photo, if you want an end print, you have print designs. So if you want a A3 paper, A4 paper, B5 paper, if you want a letter, a ledger, or maybe a business card. So we're just going to click on create here. And we have our clean slate to start working on. Now, over here at the top, you can see different menu options. And on the left are your tools. So if you click on file, you're going to see new, open, all that basic stuff is present at the top. And you can also see your layers over here. So that's very nice to see. Now, if you take a look at the left, first you have your move tool. So this is also uh, selected by V. And that's just, you know, your basic mouse cursor and it's used to move around stuff. It can be used to, you know, just generally move objects in your design. So what we're going to do is that we're actually just going to add a image or a shape. So we've added this rectangle. I'm just going to show you guys. Now, once you've added that, we're going to click back on our mouse and that's going to help us move our little, you know, triangles. Now, if you're going to click on this one, you can move it. So make sure that you are actually clicking the shapes from the right side over here. You can see at the right bottom, you have your layers and that's going to show you what item you're going to be clicking on. And also you can make a item disappear if you don't want to look at it for now, if you're designing something else and whatnot. Now, once you click on an item, you can also see blending options, select pixels, duplicate layer, duplicate into and all that other stuff. So you can actually blend it in just by clicking on it from here. So you can see there are a lot of different options you can do with it. First off, you have the basic blending options to make it less opaque and make it more uh, of a smudgy, smudgy kind of shape. Then you have contouring, you have texture. So let's just say you want to add some texture. You can do that as well. Now, if we add some texture, we can also add a outer glow we can add pattern overlays gradient overlays color overlays we can also make it look like satin so that's a very good kind of layering style a good option that is provided by photopia and we're going to click on ok so now you can see we have added this gradient to our shape now on the left you can see there is a rectangle select option as well so that's just if you want to move stuff around so if you just click on this, you can just move things around. Now below that, you have your magic wand. So you can see there's a little arrow beneath it as well. So you can see there is a magic wand, there is a quick selection, and there is a object selection. So we're going to click on quick selection. And you can see the magic wand will help you change the size, the hardness, the thickness, and whatnot of this, uh, of your little image. So... 
After that, you have your crop tool. So you can change the crop, the perspective, you can slice it. You can measure your image, your uh, design. Uh, you also have a select size tool and whatnot. Now below that you have, I'm just gonna delete this. Now after that you have your gradient tool. So you can add any kind of gradient you want. Over here you can select the colors of the gradient. And after that you have your little coloring tool. Below that you have your zoom, text, pen, uh, a general movement tool, your rectangle tool, your hand tool. So your hand tool is just going to help you drag across the screen. And now we're going to get started on actually designing a t-shirt print. So let's get into it. Now to get started on our t-shirt design, I have just taken this empty layer. I've cleared out anything that I previously did and we're going to so what kind of t-shirt are we going to create? I think I want to write Judy lives here on my t-shirt. So what I'm going to do is on the left, I'm going to select this T, which is the text. And I'm going to open this up. Now you guys might be wondering how is such a powerful software available for free? Well, a large reason that this is available for free is because they do display ads on the side and that's why they're able to keep their website free to use. And I think you definitely use this as an alternative to Adobe Photoshop because it does provide all of these features that Adobe would and it's just so good. And I think you should really take this software and don't forget the value of it because it does have, you know, all the capabilities that any very expensive paid software would have. So taking our text box, we are going to start writing. So we're going to increase the pixel size. And now let's just say we're going to write Judy lives here. I'm going to decrease my pixel size. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the move tool. I'm going to move this. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to text and I'm going to wrap it. So what wrapping is going to do is it's going to give it this different kind of design element. I want to make it like this. And then I'm going to probably place like a, a vector image of like a house or something beneath it. So you can decide how bendy you want, might want it or there are a lot of other designs as well so you can make it like this there, there's a lot of stuff you could do i think the arc is the best for this kind of design you can also do this but i don't think you should now i think this much is good enough and now you're gonna select the color so i really like pink i'm gonna go for pink and we're gonna select the stroke color now we're going to move the text to the center of our page. So you can see once you get to the center, this red line will appear. It's going to help you guide your design. Now, once you have done that, you can add a image from your gallery. So you can do that or you can even uh, design something over here because everything you need to design like a vector image is present over here. I'm just going to add a PNG file that I have of a house. So just wait a couple of seconds until I do that. So now I've added this little image of a house and what I'm going to do is I've just selected the eraser tool and I'm going to erase any kind of edges that I don't want. Undo that. Make sure to do it nicely. And like that I have perfectly erased it. Obviously there might be a little bit bits and pieces left so I'm just going to redo that. Now if you take a look at this we're going to remove this. And like that, you have created your t-shirt design. Now, there is a lot more you can do using this software. I just showed you guys this sample so you guys have a general idea of how to use their tools. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're able to create all of your designs using Photopia for free. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.